Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Mumbly. We are checking out the new footies promo. We get a pack for playing over 236 days since the start of FIFA 21. So we're going to check that out. We also have some player picks to open as well. Um, and it looks like you have a period to also earn rewards in game through logging in between June 16th to the 25th of July and then July 16th to August 9th. So that's what you can expect. Let's see what EA has in store for us. Now, again, we have new cards in here. We have the best of release, re-releases, um, that are in packs for the next 13 days and 23 hours. I'm not sure how many... <gasps> A Tavernier objective, yo. That looks sick. Okay. <gasps> what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's crazy. Okay, so Footy's October favorite. Say Maxim. What's it? 87 rated, 86, 85, 84. Wow. Okay, if you guys want to do that card, there you go. 95 rated. We have a Carver Hall as well. This one's only two teams. He ended up winning. The pick so an 85 and an 84 that's not bad value either um what else did we get anything else maybe there's like a daily SBC, but i'm probably not gonna know what that looks like a footies player pick repeatable wait earn wait wait what 84 rated and you get a guaranteed footy player. All right. We're going to do one of these as well. Because I'm curious to see what it gives us. So we need an 84 rating. We'll check out that uh, card here in a second. Um, who do we even put in here? Do we have fodder for this? Padula. We'll throw him in. I think we have some mid-tier cards. We took the Giovinco. I don't know who you guys took. Let's use like all the 83s that we have. We have a player pick as well, so we can do our player picks to get us some additional cards. That's probably the smarter option to go with. So we won't submit this. We'll just kind of see where that takes us. And then off of this, we can decide whether or not we want to submit. So that's an 83. Yeah, we're going to need some more. Yeah, not too bad. I'm curious to see who we get in the footies pick because it is a player pick. It is between a option of three things. So you definitely could get some stuff. We had some league SBCs go away. I don't think they came back. Yeah, no, nope. all the like Asian league SBC ones and stuff like that are gone. We now have the objective to take a look at. So we have the beautiful, beautiful card there. Dude, if I get another... Team of the year Ronaldo. I might actually get pissed because it'd be just be fodder for me. So here are the player picks. Let's open these up. All right, 83. As long as we're getting boards, I'm happy. I don't expect to get any special items, but if we do, we do, man. Um, any 82s and 83s should give us the 84 rating that we need. And let me know if you do the footies player pick, what do you guys get? Comment down below if you're doing it. Um, we're going to have repeatable SBCs most likely on Sunday. So if you guys are needing a kind of way to grind those, you should have that option available, hopefully in the form of player picks or some sort of other repeatable SBC. So a lot of content coming. I'm excited for these footies promo. I'm sitting on a little over two mil and we can do a bunch with that. Um, I'm just kind of holding my fodder for whatever fun SBCs come out and get it done over time. And we're going to be trying out cards, doing like live reviews. So if there's someone you're maybe on the fence for, whether or not they're good, um, let me know about it. We might be able to check them out. Ooh, Kubo. Okay. So that is our first special card. He's an 84, so we're not going to take him. We'll take the Henderson because he's an 86. It looks like it might be decently common to get these, especially if they're not that high rated. Um maybe in normal league SVC packs, if you guys are opening up stuff could get quite a few um i know i think it was fifa 19 every time i did a league svc i was constantly getting stuff there's a chiellini that is a walkout that's huge we got some more 83s obviously and an 84 and we end with an acardi 
beautiful. All right, put those to the club. We got a duplicate Matip. Is he tradable? Nope. So we put Matip in. We'll get the player pick here for the footies. Dude, if we get like an Mbappe or a Ronaldo or any of them, I will be super happy. Um, we should favor this too. Footies player pick. Boom. We still have time to do Ramos if we wanted to do Ramos. He doesn't fit my team though, so I'm probably not going to do him, but... He is an amazing card from what I've seen. And our club is already stacked to the brim. There are so many cards that have SVCs out. Like the um, the French winger. I don't even know if I'm going to do him. Because we have so many options. We have Neymar. Is it even worth the fodder? I don't even know how I'd fit him in my team. St. Maxim. Great card. Looks amazing. But do we need him? We'll see. All right, we got some 82s we can put in this as well. I think the 87 should bring us there, but I'm curious to see if 83s do too. So we'll do Sergio and goal. Okay, 84 rated actually brings us there. So we'll do that instead. There's the Kem needed, 83s. Boom. All right, who are we going to get? Oh, we didn't use my team. Crap. Hey, we got Conte 91 rated. So what I would say to you guys, if you're trying to find a way to grind this, you could technically, anytime you get a card that is a walkout from here, you could put it back into the footies if you didn't need the card and do that over and over and over. So at this point in the game, I really don't need a 91 Conte. The stats, even though it looked decent, kind of passed my team at this point. Our team's a little more far along. But I'd highly recommend if you get something high rated and you don't want to use it, put it back into there. Keep going through that process. You'll most likely get something really good over time. Now that we got that under the way, let's take a look before you end the video at the new Tavernier card. So I'm personally, I would love to do Tavernier. Um, I think he's an upgrade to Trent. Looks like it's relatively easy to do. Score goal with defenders in six separate squad battle matches or... Um, rivals, assist 15 goals, assist with four crosses, score using English players in 12 separate squad battles, or rivals. So, yeah, it's definitely doable. Um, I'm trying to think. We could put him in our squad for Trent, do a trade out with him and Gomez. The only issue with that, though, is I don't know necessarily what that does with our chem. Since they are a perfect link there, um, our only issue is Trent would probably not be in full chem. Let's get Roberto out of here. Let's take a look at what this would look like in our squad. So let's move Trent. If we did Tavernier, put him there. Um, concept players. Tavernier. What does that bring us to? That's a six. You give him an English manager and that would bring him to a seven. So I guess the question is, who is better? Tavernier on seven chem or Trent on full? And it looks like, across the board, that Tavernier might be the better card. So, we'll see. We might do that. We can mix the team up a little bit, too. We can get creative. Uh, yeah. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you next time. It's been your boy, Mobile Elite. I'm out. Peace.